So part three of our coaching series with Coach Lockie Mark Crossfield here behind camera. Uh, part one and two, there'd probably be a link, Matt, wouldn't there? Where do you want it this time? So put maybe this side, out there. Right uh, here? The yeah, and there'd be two. And here. Okay. Or do you want to go here and then here? Just that over, maybe more. over in that whole area. Okay, around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so part three, we're going to talk more about kind of specialist shots now. So trickier ones where you need to start thinking on your feet. Mm -hmm. Part one and part two are very kind of rigid in some ways. And when you come to chipping, you need that a bit of rigid uh, ideas around chipping, but you need the creativity as well. So let's cover that bit a little bit. Let's get stuck in. Right, Matt, so let's do a series of shots where you have to do things. Okay. You can't just play the Your lock that the manufacturer's bought you or the stance or the other bits. You yeah. have to do some more. So we're at the semi-rough. Yeah. Do you want me to drop this? Oh, no, you're okay there. You're okay there. You can drop it if you want. He's dropped it. Oh, oh there's a bit more grass around that. Yeah. And we're going to go to that first flag. Yeah. So it's slightly down breeze and it's quite quick green, sloping left to right and very much away from us. Uh -huh. With sprinklery stuff looking short so you can't even land it in that fringe that easily so what loft have you chosen uh 58 and then what setup are you going to choose to use because what shot are you going to play so i'm um as soon as i get to my shot i'm going to an analyze the light what it's lying like it's not too bad but there's a bit of grass yeah um then where i want to pitch it so i think that that might come out with a bit of run and not as much um spin so it might run a little bit more so i'm going to try and land it front edge are you going to use more height because you're going to lack a bit of spin or not um, I'll probably open it slightly, but I just generally go to that as my standard type of shot anyway, really. What? A little uh, bit of twist. It's hardly anything, but it just makes me feel more comfortable. But you're using a lofted club, so you expect yeah, to yeah. get a bit of height anyway. Exactly, yeah. Setup? Anything different in your setup? Mm, ball's a bit below my feet, so I'll bend my knees a bit more. <laughs> so you're gonna, that's fine, yeah. So you're going to um, feel the ground a bit more. But pretty much similar to... Um, my other set up really, quite narrow in my feet, weight on my left, gripping in the middle because I'm not majorly close to the green. Okay, should we um, have a little nearest the pin jobby? Oh, Shall how we? many of these funky ones are we doing? Should we do five so there's a winner? <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> okay, let's do So it. you're the winner, you mean? Well, I, I, it could all backfire, couldn't it? <laughs> should we do five so I win five nil? Yeah. I am slightly wider as well because I want to get a bit lower actually. Say that again? A bit wider with my feet because I want to get a bit lower. Okay, so you're widening your stance because you want to get the handle lower? Handle lower and because the ball's below my feet. Okay, that's a good little trinket. Oh, right oh, he's got the it. popper. Right under it. That's beatable. So that's an interesting point in itself when you get these shots, mm -hmm. you've got to accept there are going to be some... Uh, funky ones yes and that's you can kind of guess through experience and practice what's going to happen but so you feel if you're playing more you would deal with that yeah so you'd have used a bit more speed a bit more speed and maybe less loft yeah stop it popping up okay right so you want me to drop yeah if you want yeah well i want a place bruh but... <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so i'm feeling this with quite a bit of grass around but under the ball as well so i see this as quite a friendly lie yeah I agree it's probably not going to stop, so I'm going to try and fl uh, fl uh, get a bit of height and throw it just on that ridgy bit. Yeah, that little ridgy bit, so I am going to try and read the slope of the green as well. Ball slightly below my feet, uh, I don't feel, do you feel as left sided on this, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. I tend not to, so I'm going to put more pressure on my left side again to keep that low point staying forward, which is what I'm bad at. Yep. Still very narrow in my stance, middle of my grip again. Still feeling like trying to feel like my shoulders are level, not my awful tilt back that I do. And definitely turning through Coach Lockie style. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Not bad from there. Not bad. Now my problem with this shot is I tend to hit it very soft. Yeah. And do you know what that is all about? negative yeah. thoughts. Very negative. I'm always thinking with a chip, and this is what i got to break, is that it's running away from me. Yeah, yeah. Where I played that one, because I didn't want to have on a video two shots that are the same, I'm playing your one all day long. Yeah. 
to actually help me going second on that instance. Like I've made me, I felt like when I hit it, I literally felt when I struck that, have I hit that too hard? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm seeing it always. So I think always with these lofted ones, when you get the 16 lofted club in your hand, certainly a bit of grass below your ball, that's the one I would do more than not. Yeah. Like, you know, I felt like I played that one better than the first one. Yeah. But it's considerably weaker. So just, you know, I mean, Mickelson's great at it, it? Very confident. Yeah. Good amount of swing, decent amount of speed and commit to it, I think is a good little one for people. So grip's not changing particularly. Definitely assessing lie. Yep. Um, but using loft because the situation dictates it. Should we do another? Yep. So we're going to go to the distance pin. Green or running away from us, Matt? Yeah. Uh, it is 1-0 to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm not going to get whitewashed. Very bare lie. So we've now got no grass amongst us. You can pop it on here in a second as well. Um, what are your thoughts when it comes to the bare lie? I don't have an issue with it. Why not? Because I strike it properly. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> right, good video over, goodbye. <laughs> Obviously, lots of people do have issues with that. Yeah, like, yeah. I, they would want the fluffier one, would they not? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It scares people, but again, if you do your practice and you get confident with your strike, I don't see why that sort of lie would affect you, really. I'm On a lie like this, I'm going to do more in my head to make sure low point is ahead. In, in front, yeah. You have to do the most you can, basically. Yeah. So the, the slope is, because it's downhill, the slope is pushing me that way and I'm going to let it go. Yeah. And I'm almost feeling like, if I, you're using sternum now, like it's a front of the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Um, I'm going to feel like I'm swinging down the slope. Plenty of green here then, so I've got loft, I've got my 60, but I'm not being, I'm going to try and, I'm not afraid to take a bit of loft. Yeah, your setup and stuff's going to turn it into like a, a 50. A lower shot. Yeah. I'd expect it to come out a little lower here, and it might have a bit more spin, but because it's lower, I, it's going to roll. Yeah. Um, I would want to play my 50 from this situation, but this fluffy grass here would never allow me. Mm -hmm. So if it was a flatter one, I probably would change loft. If it was a flat or even, go, if it was going uphill, would you change loft? Yeah. You'd come down? Definitely. You feel safer on a that kind of lie or it's not the lie uh, yeah it's that. not the lie it's what i want the ball to do basically okay see for me it's a mixture of both of those so let's give this a go pressure definitely i mean my right foot feels like like you were like it doing nothing handle's gone forward of the ball and that's all right i called it two grooves too low not bad. But not a bad effort. Yeah. I had to really stress low point forwards there to not fin that. Yeah. So Matt's not fussed about the lie. He's still using, I think it's a good contrast here between two ways of people are thinking about their shots. You're literally using what you want. Yeah, totally. Yours didn't really run that much, did it? Well, it did. It pitched only just on the front here. And take some loft off as well. Okay. So you're all pressure on the front foot? Yep. Do you feel like you're ahead of the ball a bit more? Yeah, it looks like it's further back and it's probably like left, right foot, sorry now. Yeah. Rather than sternum. Sternum's a few inches in front. Okay. And the same turn through? Yeah. Show us. Yeah, so you've struck that better and thrown it further on. And it's a better shot. Well done. Back to all square. Thank you. Good strike. I mean, again, it's the confidence in that strike for you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't strike mine how I was wanting. I wanted to throw it where it. yours yeah. were. I got away with mine a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Let's move on to a different one. Okay, all square. Chip number three. Loads of green to work. We're straight up the hill. Um, lie is fine. It's just a nice prepared fringe lie. Yeah. Uh, I've gone to my 50. 52. 52. Are you going to de loft? Yeah, I am a bit. Yeah. There's a lot of. Like, I think there's two options here. You could like pitch it here with literally no loft. Like an 8 iron, the 7 iron. Or, well, yeah, or twist this one. Yeah. Or pitch it on the flat bit up here. Yeah. So, like, you're probably going to get a better bounce if you pitch it up here, but I just find it easier to pitch it on a spot closer to me all the time yeah so. you like that don't you yeah i'm always gonna go for that one more i think so you're gonna go very low 52 yeah and 
if it's like a crazy slope, I wouldn't do it. No. But this is like very gentle. Yeah. Well, it's actually not gentle. It's quite a big slope, but it's not like a tier. Yeah. Um, so set up and grip and everything's probably back to the other series in the videos, isn't it? You're back to the normal setup. No, I'm de in this. So you are handle forward. So I'm twisting then gripping. Yeah. So it looks like I've got what people call a strong grip. Yeah. Um, ball position slightly behind my sternum. And handle forward. Handle's going to be slightly forward, yeah. Go on then. But again, same feelings when I'm swinging. And you've read it like a putt more as well, this one, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I want to try and get the line right and everything, get it as close as possible. Okay. It's quite pitchy. Yeah, you flew it further on, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't de loft it enough. Okay. Chance. Uh, I've seen you play eight irons from there before. Yeah, I would. There's no reason why I wouldn't play an eight iron. Yeah. It's more basic, yeah. sort of standard setup and everything. I guess the main twisted. reason you didn't is because it's still up in the flat. Yeah, it's about 300 yards away <laughs> and I'd have to walk uphill. <laughs> so I'm going to go 50. Yeah. I would seriously putt this. <laughs> because a putt this length is going to be skidding till about here. Yeah. So this is going to do nothing. For certain, it's still an option. I know these are chipping series, but if a putt is better, definitely. a putt is better. Yeah. And yours is beatable there. Yeah, definitely. Checky, spinny one. Really checked up. Yeah. I felt like I hit that. You quite struck nice. that good. Yeah, I did. You just didn't right, quite put the loft on it correctly, I guess. Oh, I needed to hit it harder. Mm. So I was the same setup again as almost the downhill lie, trying to here keep it low, yeah, handle yeah. forwards, more pressure front foot. So easy when I put my pressure on my front foot to do this. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to consciously go this way. Just speed. I'm really disappointed I lost that because when I hit that, I thought like I'd done it. Two oh, one. No. Right, we're now over a bunker. Lots Matt, of people get scared about that, don't Matt's they? Matt's going to drop absolutely over the bunker is one that people seem to worry about the bunker. Are you seeing the bunker? No. Why are you not seeing the bunker? What bunker? <laughs> <laughs> because um, you're confident enough in your strike yeah, that yeah. you're going to My go. landing point's miles away as well. So. so people who are seeing the bunker, what would we say to them to help them? Anything? Stop seeing it, basically. Yeah, stop seeing it, work on strike. Yeah. Build your confidence up. Definitely. It I just think takes trying to time, have it. unfortunately. Yeah. It's not like overnight it's gone. You have to do a bit of practice. Yeah, so. and if they're using the principles we used in one and two and three, mm -hmm. where would those links be, Matt? Um, kind of should at, we go this way? Again? All, yeah, because that's why all there. Lovely. Um, then they shouldn't really be seeing that bunker. No. To see that bunker is the negative fault. Yeah. Um, so I would often say as well for people who see that bunker, what about a little bit of loft? So I've got my 60. I've got my 58. And a bit of speed. Yeah. Because if you were pitching here, mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't see that bunker. If they were teeing off, they wouldn't see that bunker because they've got speed. They'd think, what's that bunker doing there? Just yeah, yeah. Pitching. So maybe a bit of loft and a bit of speed is a good little trinket. Good advice, Mark. Thank you. Good advice. So we're dropping for lie. You've got a fluffy lie. We're going for back left, the red flag. Yeah. Not seeing the bunker. So in effect, this is just an ordinary chip or pitch for you, isn't it? Yeah. Um, after the first one, though, where well, it went low and uh, soft and right, sorry, I'm going to... You popped it, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to give this a bit more oomph on it. Okay, because it has really sat up. Yeah. Go on then. It's right high. Are you going to take loft off that or keep loft or add? Add loft. And really? Just give it some. Even yeah. from that line? I'm just giving it some. Okay. Because I would consider knocking that down from there. You know, I'm a bit stiff still. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I've you're... never ate this much, I don't think. So you're one up still. No, you're two up now. No, you're one up now. Two I'm... one it is, yeah. Yes, you're one up. He's on loads of height. Oh, and it didn't stop. You played it nice. Well, that was good, didn't you? I did, yeah. That's beatable. That is. Right, drop your ball. <laughs> oh, it's gone miles Ooh. away. It's that nice? Yeah. I'm not going to add any loft or anything. I'm just going to. I've got my 60 and I'm going to use it. I Chance to get two all here. I would all, all square as golf terms, I guess. Um, I would consider a 60 degree here. Yeah. Um, sorry, I've got my six, a 56. Yeah. 
and I can just chuck it a little closer and roll it because it's a lovely lie. So I'm going to go 60 up the left, landing it in the light patch mm -hmm. or maybe the darker patch just on. Again, short. That's my standard shot with the 60. That's a measurement. Oh, measure me up. Got to hit more speed with the 60. Didn't see the bunker, but always worried of that one just going miles for yeah. some reason. Let's go measure mm. it. Definitely me. Do you need me to? Mm. I kind of want you to, because I don't want it to go to the last. It's seven, a nice seven. This is a six and a half or a five. Four, five, six. Six big steps, so that's a win. <laughs> oh, I haven't, have I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> two right, all. So we're going to do one more awkward lie, are we? Yeah. All you're... square on the last. You pick. Okay. Um, we'll go the red one. Red flag on the right. That one there on the right. Okay, red flag. So we're on an uphill lie. Now this isn't a hard shot. Lots of people like an uphill lie, don't they? Yeah. Now I have a problem with uphill lies. You like to thin them, don't you? <laughs> I literally, I would prefer to be on a downhill slope because I literally feel like I can just pop and it, it's going. Yeah. Um, I get that as well. I understand. I feel like this, I'm, I feel just so chunky. Yeah. But I don't do that that often. I'm much more... Thinny. Yeah, because again, I'm going, the slope is sending me this way. I do that a bit and I'm bottoming early and coming up. Yeah. Um, what loft are you going to use? Hmm, 52 yeah. maybe. Yeah, see ya. I don't know. So the slope's adding, going to add launch, isn't it? Yes. So if I use my 60, I tend to always come up a bit short anyway. Yeah. You see what I mean? I'm a bit worried. So it's almost 56 or 50 but I just see the 50 going in really, really low. Mm -hmm. When I was more confident with my chipping, the reason I would see this as a 60 is I can take all the guessing out. And just fly it there. Yeah, and stop it within yeah, yeah. four yards. So yeah. I'm basically just trying to hit like an approach shot. Yeah. So if I see a nine iron, a seven iron into a green, I'm seeing a landing spot of like 10 yards around the hole because yeah. it's going to land and stop. Um, so I would have definitely have done that. So should we try and be confident? Go on. Try it and win it. I feel like I've already won, just not to have lost 5 nil, bruh. That's always an important message. I'm not that good. <laughs> but that is always an important message if you want just always big yourself up <laughs> yeah. by putting the other one down. <laughs> if you take anything from this series of lessons, that's a good one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I caught it slightly thin. After talking about it as well. I find that shot so tough. Yeah. You do that so often. Yeah. I'm so worried of chunking it. So I'm moving away from the ground. So what are you seeing, coach? Uh, don't really know. It's right in between of this. Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? Do I take loft off or do I add it? I like your high chuckers. Also, I don't see you losing from where I've hit mine. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what have you gone for? 58. Yes, yeah, so you're going high. I'm not actually. Okay, you're going to take off. With yes, because I might like ball below my feet and a standard 58. I might get my popper right. Yeah. So I just want to like not do that. Go on then. Because it winds me up. <laughs> yeah. Especially when ball's below my feet. Yeah. Like where I practice, whenever I do, that's rare, but um, the practice ground is ball below your feet and I get that one so often. Yeah, yeah, the poppy one. Yeah. So you're going to take loft off in this situation? Yeah. Set up the same pretty much again. Get up. Yeah, it's good. So you've gone in lower and relied on that bit of raw. It's yeah. a win. It's not the best shot, but again, it's a putt, I guess. Yeah, it's, it? it's so a pretty, it's half, it's a six, it's, seven out of yeah, 10. Yeah. Mine's like a two out of 10 at best. Yeah. Good shot, Matt, well played. That's a win. Yeah, that's a win and a draw, I would say, because I won two. 
roundup time. Yeah, well, what are you thinking? I mean, there's no rules again, is it? How you see it? How you see it, how um, your practice and experience kind of makes you pick the right shot. Yeah. Because there is no right shot, obviously. There's You play what you want, but... Um, I think the message is practice and get some experience mainly. Yeah, well the next series we're going to talk about how to practice a little bit as well, so yep. we'll lead into that. Um, I'm going to have another go at this one, Max, it's just annoying me. Can fin it again? <laughs> Slightly, no, I like but that. not bad. I like that. Yeah, it's oh, not boy, bad. Would stop. I actually tried to go more down at that, which is... I need, again, it's practice, isn't it? I feel like I'm going to chunk, but I'm nowhere near it. I need no. to feel like I'm getting down a little bit more. Practice more people. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all my normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.